Hi uh, folks, I've got a new Jensen transmission that I made. Uh, this one I call my uh, Jensen 20 Deluxe, or Double Deluxe. As you can see, it's got uh, two Jensen 15 generator bases on it. And there are ball bearings in each of the towers. And uh, took a little special care with this one. And uh, I've got brass shims right here, or collars. And they have a lip on them to ride against, so does these two matching cone pulleys, to ride against the inside sleeve of the ball bearing. So that the uh, nothing moves uh, left or right, and uh, there's no pressure on the side of the uh, bearing, and it doesn't scrub off any speed. And it uh, runs really efficiently. I made a little room there so I can take off the pulley and the belt. You can see that pulley is flows very easily. I like everything I make to be really efficient and really smooth operation because during my shows it may run 8 to 10 hours a day so it doesn't need any oiling. It's got uh, permanently sealed ball bearings and as you can see it has tiered cones in the middle and there are 10 tiers and one belt, their matching set, one belt will uh, run all the way down the line, uh, giving you higher and low, lower ratios. These are Jensen pulleys on the outside. And I call this the uh, St. Paul Steam Edition. And one thing I've done, well, a couple of things I've done. I've uh, made it so I can... Uh, also put a pulley on the outside here and these are two tiered and they're staggered and I've got another belt that will uh, run on this outside one as well there we go more around and then we'll put it in action. The base is on an oak plinth, actually plywood plinth, banded in oak, and it's five by eight inches. it up to my plant here and uh, put it in action. I'll be right back. Okay, we're off and running. Let's take a bit closer look. We have the steam plant here.
And for a little comparison, here's the one I made last week. Thanks for looking, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye now.